Hey guys, uh, this video is uh, going to be a little bit different. This is going to be more of a documentary kind of thing. Um, my friend Thomas is building an SR20 VET for his 240 coupe. Um, and he said I can go over there and help him out and film. So, you know, that's a super unique build. There's not a lot of 240s with a V engine in them. Uh, so I'm going to go over there, film it so you guys can see it. I know a lot of you guys will really get a kick out of uh, seeing that kind of build. So right now I'm at my house. Um, going to drive over to his house. It's going to take about half an hour. So let's get going. <laughs> So I just got to Thomas's house. We're in the engine building room. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on here, man. What's up, guys? Uh, my name's Thomas. Uh, this is my SR20 VET. I had this SR since I was uh, 18 years old. I bought it. It was a red top from uh, Elite JDM up in Philly. Uh, I went through a rebuild with it, and then I went through another rebuild after the rings got gas washed so I decided to do a VE head swap and now my plan is to pretty much I just want a street car you know a fast street car so I'm gonna put a GTX 35 on it and this is going in my S13 coupe um, I've got all Mazworks the turbo kit with the manifold I got a tile wastegate I got the Mazworks VVL kit and uh, some other little bits and goodies I got so this is my motor, and we're just going to document putting it together. And, uh, yeah, this motor is going to be a lot of fun. I know not a lot of people do the Neo VVL thing. I only know, like, of one person that actually finished it properly, locally at least. And they definitely scream up top when you get the high RPM with the turbo and the VVL at the same time. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll dig into this, and... Um, Here's the intake manifold he was talking about. It's a Mazworks custom intake manifold that he polished himself, which looks really freaking nice, actually. Um, tell me oil pan, all kinds of good stuff. So I'm going to put this thing on the tripod, and we're going to start taking the hat off um, because we don't really know if anything... The timing chain guides, right? Is that what it was? Yeah, I kind of yeah. got excited to put the head on, so I forgot to double check it by tightening down the bolts that hold the timing chain guide down there. Yeah, so head's got to come off, and then this RTV thing has to come off, and we're going to redo that. So I'm going to put you guys on a tripod, and we're going to get in there. All right, cool. because he just wanted that Neo PVL sticker on his valve cover. Yeah. <laughs>
This is what we take everything apart for. This is the timing chain tensioner, and as you can see, it's pretty loose. Yeah, the guy. Oh yeah, the guy. Sorry. Both of them are, are loose. <laughs> so yeah, that would have sucked. <laughs> So that, was, that was a pretty good call, man. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Trust me, dude. So cams are in, everything is done. So that one mini project is over. Next thing is we're gonna try to pop this oil pan on here.
finished, uh, we fixed the timing chain tensioner guide thing that's behind this. Put a new RTV on, reinstalled the head gasket, put the head back on. Then we even had time to put on this brand new oil pan. Bigger capacity, so it's more awesome. That's it for today. What do you think, Thomas? Feeling good. <laughs> Got some big plans in store for this. So, I will keep you guys updated. Thomas also has a YouTube channel with some cool stuff. I'll put the link to that in the description. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I will catch you next time.